Well, we're here at Grant Hall on the Alaska Pacific University campus, where uh, Synarts is putting on a production of Flowers for Algernon, a really interesting play. Let's go in and see what they have to say for themselves. This show, Flowers of Algernon, is just an incredible story. I'm so excited to be part of it. We have a young man named Charles Gordon. He is a mentally handicapped. Would you like to pass the test every time you get hungry? A group of scientists have found a new invention of how to make someone with a deficient brain become smart. So they do an operation, and Charlie Gordon goes from having a very low IQ to becoming a genius. Sorry, doctor. It's just my superior intelligence. And then the question is, is it worth it for the changes in his life, and will it stay forever, or if he regresses? Who knows, maybe I'll find the answer there when I'm not looking for it. For having his life changed, what, what have we done to this man who starts very happy with a simple life and becomes uh, very complicated in his uh, smarter life? We've gone up faster, so we may go down faster, way before the end of a lifespan. What we're really talking about is a show that is marking kind of a personal journey through journal entries, uh, through flashback scenes. It's what I call a memory play. I could probably run the Amazids faster than a regular mouse. It leaves us at the end with a question that I think is really important. What benefits more when we make scientific advancements? Is it worth it for the science at the expense of the man? This show opens on January 30th. We run through February 15th, three weekends, and you can get your tickets at brownpapertickets.com or go to our website, synartsco.com. Uh, Synarts company that is producing our show has done an amazing job of uh, helping us put this all on stage here at Grant Hall Theater. So hope to see you there. Well, do uh, get up to Grant Hall and take in this production of Flowers for Algernon. Check out uh, Charlie Gordon and the Mouse Algernon. Uh, also around town uh, this weekend at the Wendy Williamson uh, Auditorium, uh, the Alaska Film Group is putting on their annual fundraiser, which is the Mountain Film Festival. And this is the best from the Telluride Film Festival. So a lot of action films, a lot of extreme films, and there's going to be like a silent au auction of some really uh, groovy outdoor stuff. And uh, you can get tickets for that at centerticks.net or at the door. And you can save a couple of bucks by getting your tickets at Center Ticks, so I'd, uh, I'd recommend you do that. Um, it's always a great event. Uh, they usually pack the house, so uh, um, I'd say get your tickets uh, sooner rather than later. And also around town, uh, this is the last weekend for two really terrific local shows. The Icebreaker continues at Cyrano's downtown at 4th and D, and you can go to cyrano's.org to uh, find ticket information and uh, get information about the rest of their season and such. And uh, Crimes of the Heart at Anchorage Community Theater also closes this weekend. And to find out about that great play, go to actalaska.org and you can get your tickets there and find out about the rest of their upcoming season. And I think that about wraps it up for this week's Entertainment Link. As usual, I'm Ron Holmstrom and I'll see you around at all the fun stuff.